Jerry Swift with Genesis Rescue Systems. Today, we're going to go over the modified dash lift on new car technology with the Mercedes C-Class. You can see that we already have the front fender removed so you can see the anatomy of the car. We have the hood lifted up so we can see where we're going to get our pivot cut at. And looking at it, you can see that it's got a hefty front frame rail along with another support and a pretty hefty kickboard. So it's gonna take multiple cuts. Now typically on dash lifts in the past, we've always talked about it's two cuts with the top cut being cut all the way through into the wheel well. Now you can see that that's pretty hard to accomplish on the new Mercedes. So we're gonna take that top cut as deep as we can go. We're gonna take the bottom cut as deep as we can go. We're gonna come up, find where our front strut is. And you can see that if I remove the casing, we have our battery. So we definitely want to stay away from the battery, but you can see there's a little space just behind the front strut that enables us to cut down into where both these supports connect. So we have our finished product. And from view, viewing the video, you saw that we hit a couple speed bumps. But that's the beauty of training, is we're able to come out, train on stuff that is very hard to get your hands on, and show you that the tactics that we normally teach, in principle, they're guidelines. They're your go-to, it's where you start. But as you can see, we encountered some problems that I recognized very quickly. That the amount of relief cuts that we needed was more than our normal tactical plan. So what we did is we made a gap so we had more room for the pivot of the dash. On your typical car, one cut is plenty enough pivot, but it started binding up here. And you could see that the spreader was just gonna blow through this conjunction. I got about six, seven inches right here. So instead of just blowing through it and getting absolutely no lift, we backed out, we went to plan B, we came in, I cut it through the firewall, made that top cut, bigger gap, and put the spreader back in and got it. So <clears throat> you can see new car technology, everything is more beefy, including the firewall. And with all the different training videos that we do, one of the biggest problems I'm finding on new car technology is the fact that the firewall is inhibiting the proper dash lift. So you have to think about that. So I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something because I sure did today. Remember the cardinal rule, be safe.